Hi, this is Jim Whitley from the World Famous Tool Shed located at 1073 Main Street in Worcester. Hours this week are Wednesday through Saturday, 1 to 5. We can be found on the web at www.use-tools.com. Let's take a look at some of the stuff we have this week. Bargain table is at $2. I don't even have any room to throw anything on because I got too much other stuff on there. We have a uh, Bosch uh, RS325 reciprocating saw. That's $50. A DeWalt uh, circular saw, $50. We have several concrete tools, brass finishing tools. There's two of them, they're $10 each. Trowels, $3.50 up to well, $7.50. There's $10. I think the highest ones are $10. Bessie clamps, these ones here are 36 inch, those are $19.50. There are some uh, bar, uh, pipe clamps, those are $7.50. Um, Shopsmith wooden um, clamps, those are $4 each. Irwin quick clamps is a ten dollars each. The uh, helmets are a dollar each. Bessie clamps, these guys here are seventy uh, seven dollars and fifty cents. Sorry, not seventy five dollars. Uh, Twenty five dollars on these. I think these are forty eight inch Bessie uh, clamps. One end down there, one end all the way down there. Uh, the uh, Back-to-back -back bench clamp, where you can clamp it onto something, clamp it onto a table or whatever, and use it as a clamp. These are twelve dollars and fifty cents each. Forty dollars on the Bosch planer. We have a Craftsman jigsaw. This is twenty-two fifty. A Bosch undercut saw, fine cut saw. That's thirty dollars. Forty dollars on the Freud, um, the Freud biscuit cutter. We have a couple work platforms. This is twenty dollars. Let's get some dents in it. There is one over here. This is $40. It's much wider. I think they're both Werners. Uh, acetylene tanks, or I'm sorry, those are both oxygen tanks, $50 each. Knee pads, five bucks. Uh, router, $10. $12.50 on the belt sander by Ryobi. $2 on the uh, drywall sanding pad. $11.50 on the Weller soldering gun. $10 on the Porta cable sander the xylus workbench clamp that is $25 face shield this is five I believe $15 on the screw gun by Hitachi $3 on the tire plug kit uh, the belt is $7.50 $13.50 on the Empire magnetic level uh, we have a set of spindle nut um, sockets this is $35. The largest one is 36 millimeters. The small guy here is 30 millimeters. Uh, $2 on the keyhole saw. The work bag, this is $5. The Craftsman soldering gun, this is $7.50. We have an incomplete set of Brad Point uh, drill bits. This is $6. $45 on the Delta Chop Saw. We have a 100, fo 100 square foot um, uh, canopy. This is 40 bucks. $10 on the saw horses. Drill bit sharpener. Uh, this is 20 bucks. Drywall lift. I think it's 15 footer. Uh, they, they include uh, four half the sheet of, of drywall. So it goes up 11 and the they tack on the other four. So it's a uh, 15 foot, and that is $90. Rigid shop vac, $25. Uh, Husky tool bag, $15. And I got another tool bag there, it's full, so I can't sell that one yet. We have a set of roof hooks or ladder hooks, uh, $17.50. Craftsman drill press, $60. Stanley layout kit, $9. Some levels. Uh, of course, I don't know where I put the price on that. That one's $6.50. You can't really see those. They're too friggin' long for the camera. This guy here is $7.50. The next guy is $9.50. The last guy over here is $6.50. Delta drill press, that's $300. $2.50 on the rain suit, that's $2.50. $7.50 on the uh, DeWalt bit set. $20 on the Husky toolbox. Another chops off, $40. A Delta um, 
uh, bench top grinder that is $25. $110 on the Craftsman tool assembly area. I don't know what the hell you call it. Uh, Lincoln um, welding helmet, auto darkening. I don't think it's ever been used. Plastic still on the thing in really good condition. $60. All right, some smalls, Diablo uh, saw blades, four dollars each. Milwaukee set of uh, torque lock um, pliers, thirteen dollars and fifty cents. Set of Riffler files, those are uh, five dollars. Husky knife, brand new in the package, five dollars. Some Craftsman uh, ratchet wrenches, three dollars. These are SAE, three dollars and fifty cents, three dollars, two fifty, three dollars, two dollars. Uh, S-Wing hammers, we got a couple of them. This one is a 19 ounce framing hammer and I wrote the price somewhere, it's $12.50. Undercut saw is $5. Let me get those other S-Wing hammers. We got $9 on this guy and the next guy is $8.50. As you can see, the 50 cent difference in those. Um, another pair of Milwaukee lock and pliers, $9. Um, a laminate roller, $4. 35 foot magnetic um, Milwaukee tape measure. It's fifteen dollars, fifty cents on the on the drill bit um, measures. Five dollars on the uh, Torx Allen Torx bit, uh, wrench set. Four dollars on the locking pliers. Fuller countersinks. Forty dollars for the set. Set of earmuffs, six dollars. Another little roller. This one's a dollar fifty. Fifty cent on this guy. Router speed control kit. Uh, speed control, ten dollars. The Empire Square is five dollars and fifty cents. The magnetic uh, tool belt holder is five dollars. Another tool belt accessory, six bucks. Gel knee pad, seven dollars and fifty cents. The if you only have one tool that you need in your life and it's not a Swiss Army knife, it's this Black and Decker multi wrench, six dollars, and six dollars on the uh, on the implemented destruction pry bar, crowbar, does everything bar, hit the bar, four dollars on the dead blow hammer, six dollars on the on the Stanley uh, on the Stanley what do you call it, hacksaw, three dollars on the thirty foot tape measure. All right, now I know I forgot tons of stuff and I have tons of stuff to go through and uh, it'll all be coming out as the week goes along. So uh, we shall see you soon. Thanks.